we're going to go into our archives as we sometimes do and show you a fact of history. Today we have what is my most famous video in the uh, in Parliament, in the Ghanaian Parliament of the Fourth Republic. This event that I'm going to show you is my most famous um, event in Parliament, and it happened a very long time ago. I'm guessing that some of you were not born, even though it's still the Fourth Republic. It happened. Uh, on the 7th of January 1997. The circumstances of this video I'm going to show you was that Parliament had reconvened after the 1996 election that had been won by Flies Lieutenant Rawlings. Uh, the background to the story is that in 1992, when J.J. Rawlings and the NDC won the first election under the Fourth Republic for a four-year mandate, the opposition decided to boycott the parliamentary elections because they were unhappy with the processes that guided the presidential election. The alleged rigging of the presidential election and their protest was expressed by a boycott um, of the parliamentary process. So the first parliament of the Fourth Republic, which sat from uh, January 1993 up until uh, 1997, was just a one-sided parliament with mainly the NDC and very small opposition parties who were actually in alliance with the NDC. So when the 1996 elections came, the uh, civil society decided and, and urged upon the Electoral Commission uh, successfully that the elections of both presidential and parliamentary be held at the same time as we continue to do today. So that's not how they did the first election. The elections were held in different days, uh, on different days. So um, they decided that the election will be run at the same time so that by the time the election is over, we have already elected uh, at that time 200 members of parliament and a president and a vice president uh, for that matter. So this is what happened in 1996. Fly Lieutenant Rollins won the election again. Uh, some members of the opposition continued to sing the ringing, the ringing uh, song very loud. But parliament was convened uh, in the morning. The old parliament passed in the night. And in the morning, parliament was convened for the second parliament of the Fourth Republic. Now the story is that uh, the, the ministers, the presidents had been sworn in at the Independence Square all the time, as we continue to do. Uh, but uh, the minority felt that that event was a meeting of parliament, it was a sitting of parliament, and that parliament was not giving the preeminence in the event that occurred in 1992. So they argued strenuously and forcefully that the event of the swearing-in of the president uh, must be given the preeminence as a sitting of parliament, and the presiding person must be the speaker of parliament. They also wanted the event moved away from the Independence Square. Here is Minority Leader J.H. Mensa in seconding the motion for um, parliament to adjourn and reconvene for the swearing-in of Flight Lieutenant Rawlings, elected as the second president of the Fourth Republic. Here is J.H. Mensa goes on a long history lesson just to indicate that the minority are not happy with the swearing in of the president occurring at the Independence Square and also occurring as though it were not a citizen of parliament. Have a look. Mr. Speaker. Order. Order. Mr. Order. Speaker. The tradition of parliament the tradition of parliament in this country since independence is quite clear. Sir Noble Adam Clark was sworn into office in parliament, before parliament. Lord Listowell was sworn into office in parliament, before parliament. The late Dr. Kwame Nkrumah himself was sworn into office in Parliament, before Parliament. General Efrifa was sworn into head, as head of state in Parliament, before Parliament. The late Justice Ekufuado was sworn into office in Parliament, before Parliament. And the last, Dr. Hila Liman, was sworn into office in Parliament before Parliament. The precedents are clear because 1992 is a minority of what? These are not colonial precedents, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Not... These are, these, Mr. Speaker, these are the precedents of independent Ghana since 1957 for our young friends who do not know the history. Yeah. 
Hand up, order, Mr. Speaker. And um, seriously, Mr. Speaker, oh. I do hope oh. that we will make use of the precincts of Parliament as other legislatures do. In a little while, the President of the United States will be sworn into office in the forecourt of Congress, in Congress, before Congress. Yes, here's your forecourt. Yes, in Parliament, before Parliament. Because, Mr. Speaker, the premises of Parliament, the premises of Parliament, Mr. Speaker, consists not only of this chamber, but of the premises of Parliament. And that is the law. The premises of Parliament, that is the law. The promises. Order, order. Yes, yes. Order, order. Mr. Speaker, the premises of Parliament, including your own office. Honorable members, honorable members. Mr. Speaker, the premises of members, Parliament, please, let's have including some order your own in the house. office and the whole premises. This is the home of Parliament. And I'm making this point quite seriously because it is our wish on this side of the House that the authority and dignity of Parliament should be affirmed and reaffirmed on every possible occasion as one of the bulwarks of our freedom. At the Independent Square this afternoon, I will put the question without debate. As many as are in favor of the motion say aye. aye. As many as I again say no, the eyes have it. The eyes have it, the motion is carried. And the eyes have it, the motion is carried. The unmistakable voice of the Venerable Justice D.F. Annan, the first Speaker of the Parliament of the Fourth Republic. He was Speaker of the First Parliament and the Second Parliament, and that was J.H. Mensah, always a delight to watch. The fountain of history, the late J.H. Mensah and the late Justice D.F. Annan, may they rest in peace. And as I said, from time to time, we'll be giving you some history files of our archives of such substantial material that we have gathered over the politics of Ghana since the Fourth Republic began. <laughs>